Hey, Tim Luffel here from the Cheapest Destinations blog and Perceptive Travel. In this video, we're going to take a trip along the Fred Marquis Pinellas Trail in Florida. This is in Pinellas County in the Tampa Bay area. It goes from Tarpon Springs all the way down to St. Pete, downtown St. Pete, down through Palm Harbor, Dunedin, Clearwater, and a few communities along until you get to St. Pete. I have never done this in one shot. I don't really recommend it unless you're just trying to get a serious day of exercise because there's a lot of places you can stop off along the way. So it's a lot more fun if you kind of split it up. There's some great places to eat, but uh, the most important thing in my view is uh, there are about 22 brew pubs along the trail. <laughs> And I'm talking either right on the trail or just a block or two off. I think there's about eight in Dunedin right now, and then there's 11 in St. Pete. So it's quite a selection. Four in Tarpon Springs, three or four in Palm Harbor, and then a few scattered along here and there. So you're never too far from a beer if you do this trail. I'm gonna do this in two parts because this is a long trail. So I'm gonna do the part from Tarpon Springs to Dunedin, and then from Dunedin, all the way down to downtown St. Petersburg. Okay, let's go. If you ride the Pinellas bike trail from top to bottom or bottom to top, you're gonna spend one end in St. Pete and the other end is here, Tarpon Springs. This is a much smaller town, but there's a few breweries here including this one, Two Frogs. It's got that name from two guys that founded it with the last name of Croak. They have your normal pale ales and stouts and porters and blondes, but there are a few other breweries around town too. If you want to grab a bite in Tarpon Springs, here's a good place to check out Johnny's Tap House. It's a sports bar, but as you can tell, they stock a lot of good beer here. And you can sit outside. If you're the kind that prefers your decadence to be sugar rather than beer, uh, strongly suggest this place. Orange Psycho Creamery. It's a good one. trail from Dunedin heading north you first come to Palm Harbor and then you get to Tarpon Springs Palm Harbor first one you come to is the Stillhouse Brewery as you can see it's right off the trail let's head inside get a beer Tampa, which you can tell, Tampa Bay, you can tell it's quite intense, but this trail part we're on basically goes from here in Tarpon Springs, down to Palm Harbor and Dunedin, down the peninsula, and then you got this other big cluster down here in St. Pete.
we're in downtown Dunedin now. This is a hopping place. That's the old train station across the street there. There's always a lot going on here on the weekends. A lot of places to eat. So just a block off of Pinellas Bike Trail is the Neaton Brewery. It's the oldest brewery in Florida. And you might be saying, hey Tim, it doesn't look that old. Well, you'd be right. It's from 1985. But back then, that was a wasteland in Florida brewing. And this was the original brew pub that opened here in town. Since then, there's been an explosion. There's more than 200 breweries in Florida, and a third of them are here just in the Tampa Bay area. So you can sample some great beer here now, but it wasn't always that way. They just need to make it easier to open a tap room next to a brewery. And once, once that happened, the floodgates opened. The Neen Brewery still makes some great stuff, and this is a big pilgrimage site for a lot of beer lovers. So check it out. good midway point if you want to stay. That's a Holiday Inn there across the street. But what I really wanted to point out was Eli's Barbecue behind me. They're only open on Friday and Saturday. Look at the hours they're open. That's right, Friday and Saturday 11 to 6. If you want to eat their barbecue, you got to get here then. But man, it's worth it. 